General Hospital's policy is that Nicholas Casada suddenly appears in town and will quickly disappear soon after. Spencer Casada was the person who saw the silhouette of his biological father before Spencer's biological father disappeared into the night. Of course, Spencer will soon tell Spencer's uncle Sonny Garanto about it. Spencer didn't understand why his father appeared in town and why he left immediately after. It seemed that Nicholas just wants to return to see his son Ace Cast die because Nicholas has never since Ace faced that Ace was born. But he panicked because he thought Nicholas might want to take Ace. Luckily, Ace was still safe at Laura Collins' house. Sonny will also wonder about Nicholas' appearance through Ava Jerome's account. Ava said that Nicholas was no longer alive and Austin Gatlin Holt confirmed it. Sonny felt something vacuous. While Sonny was trying to find out the Jew, Sonny received news that Dex Holler to find out the Jew. Sonny received news that Dex Holler had been attacked by Mason Gatlin, and Dex had been transferred to General Hospital. Sonny is angry and doesn't want to continue investigating the same way anymore. Sonny knows there's something going on between Austin and Mason. Sonny quickly proceeds to kidnap Austin despite Ava trying to stop him. Austin would find himself in a freezer and then hung up. Sonny did. Sonny took the drastic measure of torturing Austin the same way Sonny had done to Dex before. Worse. Austin was seriously injured and was in danger of losing his life if Austin continued to be stubborn. Sonny attacked Austin too fast that Austin fainted and then threw water on Austin to wake Austin up. Sonny continued to attack Austin, making Austin unable to keep his mouth shut. Austin confessed that Austin used the word for Sarah's Renault. But Austin also said that Austin and Sarah are no longer a team. Sonny will want to know the reason, and Austin argues that Sarah is really cruel and is targeting Sonny. Austin says he gave Sarah a USB, which is Austin's last assignment. Austin also pointed out where Nicholas was hiding. Fortunately, when Sonny got there, Nicholas was gone. Nicholas ran away after waking up. Sonny also couldn't find Mason where's about to assume that the two of them had to run away together. Sonny returned to the place where he tortured Austin and freed Austin. Of course, that was when Austin said he would help Sonny take down Sarah. As for Sarah, Sarah said that he would not force Austin to do any more tasks. That is to say, of course, because in the past Sarah never chose to let one of Sarah's minions go free. Unless that henchman is attacked and killed by Sarah's or by an enemy of Sarah's, news of Austin betrayal will soon reach Sarah's ears. Of course, Sarah's is ready to take Austin down. Some speculate that Austin is Sarah's son, which could cause Sarah's to attack Austin but not take Austin's life. Until finally, thanks to Austin, Sunny knows the whole truth. Sunny will, of course, come to Benton View soon. Sonny will attack Sarah instead of warning him like Sonny did before. Sonny will also order his henchmen to hunt down Mason and Nicholas.